Fallen Run is happening this weekend. The annual event draws thousands of runners and spectators to the area. Our Kristen Allen is in Green Bay to tell us what's new this year. We are standing right outside Bellin Hospital at what will be the start line on Saturday for the Bellin Run, and I'm joined by the assistant race director, Linda Maxwell. Thanks so much for joining us. Why don't you start out by showing us these cool shirts you have uh, for the run? Yes, I have our race shirt, which is this royal blue one, and I also have this cool shirt that volunteers get if they volunteer for our event. Now, speaking of volunteers, you are actually still in need of volunteers for race day. Tell us what kind of volunteers you're looking for and how they can sign up. Um, the most, the, the biggest need, the most important is on the course at our corners to keep our participants safe. But we also have some openings at water stations um, and it's really a blast to get out there. Um, you can be out there cheering for the participants and really be a part of the event. And new this year to the Bell and Run, you added a 5K in addition to the traditional 10K. Tell us about that and why you wanted to offer that. Well, you know, this event's been around for 47 years. Um, and like I said, for the first time adding a 5K to open it up to more people. As a health system, we're really concerned with people, you know, their overall health. And we know that activity is a very important component in that. So by opening up, adding this 5K, um, it's great for the youth in our community, for people who are not quite ready for that 10K, that 6.2 miles. Mm -hmm having this this option of a uh, 3.1 miles and they get all the same perks as the 10k we all start and finish together they get to feel that excitement um, have entertainment throughout the course and they stay with the 10k course for the first mile and then merge back in for their last mile and a half so they really get to experience all that is iconic about this event and tell us how people who want to uh, register can still do that. Our online registration is open through Thursday, but they can also register on site at Astor Park on Friday. It's as part of the Health and Fitness Expo between 3 and 8 p.m. Uh, we also have three events on Friday, which one is our children's run, where they get to they get this great cape and be superheroes. The kids just love it. And how long is that children's run? It's a half mile. Okay. So it's once around the block. Mm -hmm. um, and we have two other events, a back to the road crew for people, who, uh, patients who have had uh, joint replacement, cardiac rehab, cancer survivors, as well as the Triumph Mile, where people with differing abilities get to have, they all have their own bell and run mm -hmm. because everyone wants to be a part of this iconic event. Thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Again, the Bell and Run is happening on Saturday. If you want more information or to sign up, you can go to our website, WBAY.com, where we have a link for you there. Reporting in Green Bay, Kristen Allen, Action 2 News.